As mentioned in the previous video, the concept for this piece originated through the serendipity of unmixed paint and the shape of the bowl bringing to my mind a favorite artwork of mine and my son's, the Great Wave off of Kanagawa. As an homage, this first version was quite pleasing to me and it inspired the follow-on experiment to see if, the, if uh, twisting the cube might result in a tri-corner bowl with, with more wave-like corners. So this succeeded far better than I could have hoped and the added fourth corner just being icing on the cake. I decided I wanted to complete this piece as a present for my son, and as time went by, an additional twisted homage took shape in my mind, but we'll get to that later. One aspect of the unfinished piece that I felt fit the ocean motif very well was the pale complexion of the freshly sanded wood. It looked like driftwood to me, and I wanted to keep that look, though I knew if I used an oil finish, the wood would darken. I decided to bleach it further to accentuate the driftwood look and then use a clear sealer. I used a 50-50 mix of dailies, or dallies, not quite sure, uh, AB bleach, two coats of that uh, within about an hour of each other. And that got me the, the nice pale finish that I, that I like. So then, of course, you stop the bleaching action with a rinse. And for the first time, I actually signed a piece. For the uh, clear finish, just used a polyurethane, a couple of coats wiped on, and then again wiped off to try and get a flat finish rather than a high gloss finish. Wanted it to look as close to unfinished as possible. Then for this version, I wanted to do a much closer uh, match to the painting, so I spent a bunch of time mixing paints, learning about acrylic paints, starting off with a gloss medium here for the, the ocean, so that there'd be a nice glossy ocean, the majority of the uh, coverage of the inside of the bowl. And there are really only about four colors in the painting, uh, well, with black and white in there, maybe five or six, um, but it took a while to get the, the matches that I wanted. Eventually, though, I was satisfied with that first color and started the painting process.
Okay, so right about here comes into my mind another favorite mashup of mine and my son's, The Great Wave of Kanagawa and Godzilla. We first saw this on a t-shirt on a trip to Japan, and it's been a favorite. So I figure the perfect thing to do is fit our favorite atomic monster into this piece.